Welcome back to the channel. I'm your man, Chris. Thanks so much for joining us here at Courageous Media. Trump killed it again. He crushed it in Philly, a place I lived for 14 years. I have a lot of good memories of Philadelphia. Great place. It's stuck in the Northeast with a bunch of other wackos, but that's okay. High taxes. I escaped to Texas, but Philly was a great place. Loved my time there. And Trump absolutely crushed it. That's just a snippet of what we saw. We're going to check out a couple videos tonight that show that Trump is the people's president and his urban strategy of going to places like the Bronx, like Detroit, like Wildwood, New Jersey, and now in the heart of Philly at Temple University, this is absolutely paying off and it's absolutely demonstrating to the American people who he is in contrast with who the globalist corruptocrat Joe Biden is. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let's check out first, before he ever entered into the rally, Donald Trump visited a South Philly cheesesteak place. And there is nothing better than a Philly cheesesteak. Let me tell you, they're not replicated anywhere in the world. As close as some people get, it's not a Philly cheesesteak. You'll be happy today. I love it. Look at the support that Trump gets just walking into a restaurant. Does everybody remember the video of Joe Biden walking into a Wawa that was a freaking ghost town? There was nobody inside. There was nobody outside. Nobody wanted to talk to him. People tried to avoid him. It was a train wreck. And the contradiction, the contrast between that and what Donald Trump gets in urban Philadelphia, mostly blue Philadelphia, is absolutely amazing. Let's keep going. How are you? Yes, thank you. You're the best model. We love this guy out there. You got this. You got it. You got this. We don't have it. We don't have a country. We need you. We need you. Your place is going to do good. I hope so, bro. It's going to do good. I need it. You take me where I'm supposed to go. We're going to get sandwiches from everyone, right? Uh, most likely, yeah. He'll be there. Yeah, I think we have a lot of people coming. There's a lot of interest, tremendous interest in the debate. And, uh, you know, when you say prep, I think this is prepping. These people know better than anybody what they want, right? In my mind, yeah. No, nobody knows. That's right. Tim Scott, you're right, baby. Win. Who do you like as VP? I like you to run the whole country the way you did. Who do you like? JD Beach. You like JD? I love JD Beach. Who do you like? Who? Darren Hockey. That's interesting. Who do you guys like as VP? Tim Scott. Tim Columbus. Tim Scott. Tom Cotton. JD Beach. Tom Cotton. Marco Rubio. A lot of, there's a lot of variants. I think Biden has been the worst president in the history of our country. I think Biden is the worst president in the history of our country. I think he's destroying our country. I don't know. I don't know. All I can tell you, he struggles in being president. <laughs> He's a terrible president. That's where he struggles. I don't care about the debate. I don't care if he struggles. At the you know where he struggles? At being president. Right? Pretty soon. Not too. Not too. Thank you, Mr. President. Absolutely awesome. I love that line. Are you worried about, or do you think that Biden will struggle at the debate? I don't care. He struggles at being president. He sucks as being president. He's absolutely right. Fantastic. The support that Trump gets from everyday people. He is truly the people's president. And I love the fact that they are doubling down on this urban, blue collar, people's president strategy in Wildwood, in Detroit, in the Bronx, here in Philadelphia. Huckabee appeared on, I believe it was Fox, and he has some very good things to say. We're going to check that out. And we're going to check out some anecdotal proof 
of just why this is working. Governor Huckabee, the crowd is big. The crowd was huge in the Bronx, huge in Wildwood, New Jersey. You could argue he's not going to win New Jersey, and it's going to be hard to make up a nine-point deficit in New York. But he went to Detroit. He might not win that city, but he wants to win the state. What about this strategy of going into the urban environments, un unscripted, flying, you know, on, uh, off the cuff? Your thoughts about this tactic? I think it's brilliant. And the reason it's brilliant is because he's going where angels spear to tread. This this is a, a, a campaign that he's going places Republicans historically just say, we're not even going to bother. That's right. Well, what he's doing is going to these places. He's showing that he's got support. Maybe he doesn't win New Jersey. Maybe he doesn't win New York. But he's winning voters across the country who watch him go into these places fearlessly, courageously. And Joe Biden won't even go to those places. Look, right now, Don Absolutely correct. And let's just think about between 2020 and now, this strategy, as well as everything else that's gone on, Trump lost New York in 2020 by 22 points. He lost New Jersey by 20 plus points. I think it was 2021. The lead, according to polls right now, he has cut those leads from 22 to nine and from 20 to eight. He's single digits behind Biden in New York and New Jersey. And he has put Minnesota in play. It's a dead heat, according to all the polls. And he has put Virginia in play, a state that he lost going away in 2020 by, I think, 11. He has put that in play. He has taken basically the entire voting base and he shifted it 10 points. And it's strategies like this because he is the people's president. This is beautiful. Donald Trump is doing the most important thing he can do. And he carries this into debate and this election's over. He's the happy warrior. That's right. This is not a president of grievance. This is a, a president who is showing joy, showing a sense of humor. He's rallying the crowd, and I say this term again, the happy warrior. He's like Popeye with two cans of spinach, and it's working for him. <laughs> so, you know, Governor Sununu, you, you'll love this. So I asked the president, the uh, former president today, I go, why are you going to Philadelphia? Why is that important? You know, he did better in 2020 there than he did in 2016. And he said, uh, I go, because you want the urban vote, you want the minority vote. He said, no, people need hope. Those, these right. are the people that need hope. Now, this is just a conversation two people are having. That's his mindset going in, and I think they're picking up on that. Oh, without a doubt, look, look, just listen to that positivity, right? When he does a rally, they're chanting, USA, USA. These are patriots. These are people that love their country. They want hope. They want optimism about getting things turned around and bringing it back. You, watch a Joe Biden rally. Is anyone chanting USA, USA? No, they're just praying he gets through it without falling asleep. I mean, literally. So there's no excitement on the other side. There's no energy. And that's what that's what uh, kind of galvanizing you can people can agree with you. But are you inspiring them to do something different? Are you inspiring them to be a better version of themselves? And I think Governor Huckabee is also exactly right. It's not necessarily whether Trump wins in these other states. He's showing America that everyone matters. Right. Clinton. Th go back to 16. This is what Hillary Clinton did wrong. She took all these states for granted. She took the citizens of this country for granted. Right. And they said, we don't like it. And they, they brought Trump in. So he's he's kind of copying that same playbook. But right. it's an American playbook. It's the right playbook to win. Absolutely correct. Donald Trump is building a brand new coalition that we have not seen before since Reagan. Since Reagan pulled in the Reagan Democrats, if anybody remembers that term, Donald Trump is building a brand new coalition. And that coalition is America first patriots. People who realize that the true fight in this country is not Democrat versus Republican. That's what it manifests as. But the true fight is between American citizens and people who love this country and the globalist cabal of corruptocrats who run the Democrat Party, who are the Democrat Party, and who are right now running our government, especially all of the three-letter organizations that have been weaponized against their political opponents. That's the coalition that he's building. And it spans independent, Republican, and Democrat. And it's become us versus the establishment. And that's the coalition. That's the winning formula. And just to check out, you saw a snippet of this in the beginning, but the anecdotal evidence is check out this awesome migrant lady from Philly as she lays out the whole case. People's president, he is the only one who can save the United States of America from destruction from within by the Democrats and the radical left. The Democrat party that founded the KKK, the Democrat party that enacted the Jim Crow law, Separated black people and leash black people. The Democrat Party that opposed all major civil rights laws that favor the minority. The Democrat Party or the white supremacy.
party. The Democrat party that divides people instead of unite people. That's an evil party. And it saddens me that some people don't fight for the United States of America, the country of opportunity for all. And for the immigrants, I am an immigrant myself, but the United States of America had to make sure that they screen the people that come to this country. See what is going on with President Trump. The judge from Manhattan was born in Bogota, Colombia. The judge from Washington, D.C. was born in Jamaica. The White House press secretary was born in Haiti. Soros was born in Greece. Mallorca was born in Cuba. What it means is that the United States of America is importing its own enemies that instead of being grateful and saving the country that gave them the opportunity yeah. to succeed, want to destroy. So Trump 2024, let's say America and wake up America before we lose this country. Because if we lose the United States of America, there is no other place to go. And President Trump is fighting for us. And he says he's standing in between the radical left and the Democrat, and we the people who love the United States of America. Let's, have, let's hug it out right now. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely awesome. She is spot on. She is so right. This country is the country of opportunity for legal immigrants, but we are importing our own enemies. Joe Biden is importing a private army of Chinese military age nationals, of Middle Eastern military age nationals. He's flying in criminals and insane asylum escapees from Cuba, Venezuela, Bolivia, Ecuador, and other places. 300,000 a year being flown in directly to the United States. No vetting, no immigration, no asylum, no nothing. And we've got millions pouring across the southern border with hundreds of thousands of Chinese and Middle Eastern military age single men. We are importing our own enemies to fight this country. And it's all at the behest of Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a abysmal failure. He hates this country because he is a globalist corruptocrat who is beholden to the global establishment. And we have to get rid of him. And it's just this way. It's Trump, the happy warrior. That's what's going to win this thing. He is in the urban areas showing people that there is hope. And that hope is Trump and that hope is God. Trump is just right now the political face of all that. But Trump is the one who is talking about dismantling the deep state and getting us back to the 2016 to 2020 economy, foreign policy, and immigration that are the kitchen table issues for everybody. We can do this thing. We've got a country to save. We've got a republic to resurrect. And we can do it, Courageous Army, if we do our part. And that is donate, volunteer, get out in the arena of ideas, and finally go vote. Vote early and drag 10 people with you. And we'll make this thing happen by making it too big to rig. In the middle of all this, remember, God is good and he is sovereign. Remember, it'll all be good in the end. It's not yet good. It's not yet the end. Till I catch you next time.